Hello, I'm Six Nine Seven, and today in this episode of Dream of a Website Building, I'll be showing you how to insert a header into your main page, the home page, which is which you created in the last episode, so that index.html file. So let's get started. So here's the main directory of my folder of all my um, files in for my website. So I've got the index here, the info I had for it, and basically we're going to create a folder called Images. And inside there, we're going to put in our header. Now, we made the width of our main content 960. So you want the width to be 960, and the height, I've put 150, but you, that can be whatever you want. But try not to get larger than half of that. So 960 by 400 and, let's see, about 470, 500. Don't get any bigger than that. But that's basically what my header is. So we have our header in the locals folder of our website. So now I'm going to open my index file, so I'll go into the files, find your index, you see the images in here correctly, just go to index and have that open ready to put in our header. So how we're going to input this image is going to be the easiest way possible and that is to find your image and we're going to hold that, hold, left click and hold that and drag it onto the header tag, so that was at the top. Uh, alternate text is what should be visible if the image doesn't load, leave that blank. Long description, leave that blank, click OK. And our header has been inputted, so we dragged it into the div tag header. So if you go into our code, we can see here, div class header, and we've got our image code there. So what this image code says, let me just delete a few of these lines. So what this image code says is that the image source, so the image we're using is inside of the folder images slash header.png. The width is going to be 960 because that's what the width of it was, and then the height is 150 because that's what it was. So if you put 150 to 100 and go to design, you can see it's squashed. That's because we changed the size. So we can also change the height and width here. So I'll put it back to 150. And that's our header inputted into our main page. So on a lot of websites, you would have seen that the header, when you click it, it takes you back to the page, the home page, or the page you're on, but usually the home page. So what we're going to do is add a link to this. So we're going to click it, and now we're going to go to where it says here, link under properties, and we're going to put index.html. So basically, going to when we click this, it's going to direct us to our home page, which we're already on. So if you look at the code for this, it's, see, it's got a tag that says A, which means link, and then href is what the link's going to be, and in the speech box you put it, so index HTML, and then we put the image code inside of that, and then we end that link. So anything inside those A's means everything so that will be linked to index.html. So now we're going to test this, and I'm going to go test it with Chrome. So if you go Let's click the browser and click preview in Chrome. Wait for it to load, and as you see, yeah, it's been put in properly. There's no borders or anything. And if you click it, it just takes us back to this page. So now we know that our header's been put in properly and the link to it works properly. Thanks for watching this kind of short tutorial for Dreamweave website building. And in the next coming coming um, Dreamweave website building tutorials, I'll be doing the color of this bit, so the content, color of the footer. Uh, the background colour as well as little pictures to put next to each of these and as well linking those pictures. Uh, if you did like this episode please like the video. If you got any more questions put them in the comment section I'll read I'll reply to those if I can find an answer for you. And please subscribe as that helps me a lot. And yeah thanks for watching.